sequences, recursive formulas for arithmetic sequences. Complete the recursive formula of the arithmetic sequence. So what we want to do is identify B1 and we want to identify uh, the number that were either uh, actually the, the second number that's after parentheses which can be a positive or negative number. So we look at the sequence here. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So our first number is 4, so B of 1 would be 4. Now the next part, we want to find the uh, distance between the numbers. So let me go ahead and rearrange this. So again, this was our, our first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So to go from 4 to 22, to go from 4 to 22 was a distance of 18. To go from 22 to 40, that is also a distance of 18. To go from 40 to 58 is a distance of 18. So the missing number in the box here would be a positive 18. So again, this is the number that you start with in the sequence. So the very first number is 4. And the distance that we're working with uh, between the numbers is a positive 18. So we simply type in 18. Next one. Uh, this sequence here, this is our first, second, third, and fourth. So our very first number in the sequence is 1. So A of 1 would be 1. Now, how far is it from 1 to 15? To go from 1 to 15, that's a positive 14. To go from 15 to 29, that's also a positive 14. To go from 29 to 43, that's also a positive 14. So what's occurring here is... Uh, we're adding 14 each time. So in this box here, we would simply put down a 14. In the top box, we would simply put down a 1. Next uh, sequence of numbers. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So the very first number in the sequence is 8. So D of 1 is 8. Now to go from 8 to negative 5. So we want to go from 8 to negative 5. We want to go ahead and uh, figure out what that distance is. So we have 8 and then we have the negative 5 here. So from the distance on a number line here, this would be our 8, this would be our negative 5. So from, let's put this as 0. So from 8 to 0. From 8 to 0 is a distance of 8. From 0 to negative 5 is a distance of 5. So 8 plus 5 would be 13. So what's happening here is we're subtracting by 13. Because again, we start at 8, we go to negative 5. Zero's right here. So that's a distance of 8. From 0 to negative 5 is a distance of 5. 8 and 5 is 13, but we're going in a negative direction, so it's going to be a negative 13. From negative 5 to negative 18, that would also be a negative 13. From negative 18 to negative 31, that would also be a negative 13. So in the box here, we're going to put in a negative 13. So here we simply type in an 8. Here we sit now make sure you write down or not write down, but make sure that you press the negative sign and then you press in 13. Because it's by default there's a plus sign there, but you want this to be a negative 13. Complete the recursive formula of the arithmetic sequence. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. So the first number is twelve. Now we want to go from 12 to 10. 12 to 10. Well, we know that's a difference of negative 2. Because 12 minus the 10 is 2. 10 minus the 8 is uh, going to be 2, but it's a negative 2. You can't say it's a positive 2. If you make it a positive 2, 12 plus 2 is now 14. But 12 minus 2 is 10. 
10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 2, 6. So again, you want to subtract by 2. So 12 minus 2 is 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. So this would be a negative 2. So the top box, we type in 12 because we start with the 12. Remember, this is a default of a plus sign here. So you can't uh, just uh, type in you know, the, the negative 2 right there because the negative sign is not there. This sign doesn't change. So you got to acknowledge that's a plus sign there. So when you do type in the number here, you are going to go negative sign and then 2. Thank <laughs> you.